What's up guys, it's your girl Leti Tula, Kize Umzulu, Onga Namali, your hot girl, hotter than the sun, scolding on your face, <laughs> and I'm back, like Umkola, and I'm here to bring in new content for your entertainment and mine. <laughs> If you're a new visitor to this channel, welcome. And if you are a returning, <laughs> hola chat. Hola, my son. Hola, my son. Hola, chat. Hola. Guys, I'm actually very excited about today's episode. I like to call my videos episodes for some reason. Um, because I'm going to have a guest for the first time. My first ever guest, and it's usually my little sister. And yo. Find out. So, yeah, guys, this is my little sister. Can you introduce yourself? <laughs> introduce yourself, <laughs> my brother. Oh, yeah, that means that. Like a proper introduction, my brother. Like a proper introduction. No one, no one knows you, so you need to give yourself a proper introduction. Okay, there's someone by the door. We'll be back. Hey y'all. <laughs> hey y'all. <laughs> hey y'all. 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 Uh, I, I briefed her before this and I asked her to come up with questions. This was supposed to be done a long time ago and she says she lost the questions. This is almost like a girl talk. Um, but it's mostly about like conversations that we can't have with our parents and conversations that we feel like are crucial and type of stuff that, you know, um, type of stuff that I kind of got from my older sister, um, you know, but maybe not as formal, not as open you know and i want her to be able to be comfortable with saying stuff to me because my bra if you don't tell me who you don't got friends and that type of stuff but like sometimes your friends don't always have your best interest at heart like some of them are your friends but some of them are not your friends like yo you know what i mean no for real <laughs> for real like i swear like everyone knows that you have friends yes but some friends are yours are not really your friends you know so i didn't plan anything um i just expected to kind of ask me questions and we can just talk and see where it goes and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please do like share comment and subscribe and you know so let's get into this so basically it's about like dating dudes girl related things like basically everything you won't necessarily get from you can't necessarily talk about from an, an, an African traditional parent. Our, so our parents are Zulu. So my mom and, and my mom and, I, and our dad is Zulu and they're very traditional. So these type of conversations you can't have. My mom can't even have this conversation with me and I'm 20. So. Okay, first question. It's cool. Where am I supposed to look? <laughs> How am I supposed to look to the ceiling? I can ask. What's your first question? <laughs> okay, first question. of love having no age is like there isn't a a set age 
to meet people to find somebody you love. You know what I mean? Mm. Just make, I think it's a thing of you just never know what's going on. I don't know, Kim, sorry, I'm being honest now. It's like when people, I think people have a problem with seeing children, baby. Really. It's just the fact that it's like maybe they think they're ignorant or they don't know what they're doing and that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Because it's like a situation, it's even when why black parents don't want you to date. I think sometimes it's a thing of, it's not that they don't want you to date, it's just they're not sure you can handle it. You know what I mean? Like sometimes they trust you, they just don't, they trust you, they just don't trust the, the guy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that type of stuff. Because guys are very, guys are very persuasive. Guys will persuade you into thinking things the right way. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that if you don't want to do stuff, don't do anything, my bro. If you say nah, say nah. And if you go, I and mean, you scream. <laughs> no, I think, I think honestly, the, the why, the reason why I think that's this is my opinion. The reason why people say love has no age, but the minute they see young people dating. It's a whole different ball game and it's like they're two-sided about it it's just they're not sure you guys can handle the consequences of just what happens when people are in love you know because sometimes love will make you make you do stupid things all in the name of oh my gosh i'm cleaning oh my gosh i like him you know and then you guys do stupid stuff or you'll make a stupid decision and then afterwards you're like oh. right after you know what i mean so yeah i guess maybe that's Next question. Is it true? Okay, I don't know if it's like TA or what. Okay, is it true? Like some people say like love is a curse and love is a curse. Mm -hmm. It's a curse. Is it? Well guys, if you don't know as yet, then now you will know. I'm uh, I'm I'm in love with the idea of being in love. I love love, you know? Like you know what I mean? Like this I'm speaking from my my own personal things because I love the idea of being in love. I just love I, I I think love is beautiful. I think love is beautiful. So for me I don't think love is a curse. I'm hope I'm a hopeless I wanna say hopeless romantic because I'm not romantic, but like I'm always hopeful, you know? I could probably I could I could get screwed by a person I'm dating, I'll still still want to date because mm, I don't I don't think all dudes are crappy, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm hopeful that I'm gonna find my one. <laughs> uh, is it, is it? I don't have a lot of questions. I told you I have three questions. Mm. So that was question. This is very interesting. Yeah. Okay. When is it the right time? How you me or mom? Me. Oh, okay. Mom. Okay, me. Me. To tell you me. To tell you my problems or when I'm ready. You can tell me when you're comfortable. If you feel like you're comfortable enough to tell me, you can tell me. But like, cause I don't want to force you to do something you don't want to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you're not comfortable in telling me stuff, then you don't have to tell me. Well, I would like to know. You know, but like, if you're not comfortable, then you, you should. You know, it's just the whole concept of if you're not comfortable with doing something, don't do it. You know, if it's even if it's a matter of telling someone something, you're not comfortable with telling me or a friend. You are some don't. You know, whenever you feel like you're ready, and whenever you, I'm obviously as your big sister, my <laughs> my point of view is gonna be biased. You know, I will want to. You're gonna tell me yes, but like. I'd accept it, but also a lot of the advice I'm gonna give you is for your benefit, you know? Mm -hmm. I'll always be like, niggas ain't ish, niggas ain't, you know what I mean? Because obviously I'm trying to protect you, but at the end of the day, the, the decisions are yours. Because even if you're like, nah, nah, don't date. You're gonna date if you wanna date. We don't we don't follow you. We don't follow you to, to school. Your mama will take you to school. She has to take you to school. She'll drop you there for like however many hours. You'll come, we'll, you'll even come back and she'll close you in the house, but you'll still find a way to do <laughs> So, <laughs> that's my thing. I, I don't, I don't, I don't see the reason in opposing it, but just understand that a lot of the time, 
your actions have actions have reactions and every with everything you do there's responsibility that's just my view what do you think like is it good is it bad uh when do you think it's, it's the right time to date like, what do you what what's your with like all honesty i don't say it's bad from my point of view it to me it's like teaching us something like when you like your mistakes and how to deal with problems <laughs> you want to you want to be in a relationship to learn how to deal with problems no not, not, <laughs> not, that, not that i mean like problems that come it's too bad to do oh my god i want to be in your connected you feel i'm shattered you're so equipped yeah oh oh here's a question do you actually want to get married with them yeah is it? You wanna have kids and everything? For real? Yeah. Oh, okay. I did not know. Because yeah. <laughs> kids. Uh-uh. I can imagine. Cause she's she's the one in the family that likes kids. I because like literally even like in family gatherings and that type of stuff and stuff is happening, she'll be the one to like pick up everyone's child. She'll see a random child that we don't know, she'll pick it up. She's like, oh my gosh. I'm just like I think I see I'm like, wow. <laughs> but like I don't hate children I just don't we're not like I don't try too hard I can coexist with a child that's the word um, why do you think like black parents or just old people think you like young people are beautiful by young people I mean you me you know why do you think they think you lie with all honesty what do you think they're trying to protect you from what do you like with all honesty what do you think they're trying to protect you from from getting hurt hurt how heartbroken you won't die by getting heartbroken <laughs> so that, that can't be what they protect you won't die like, <laughs> you told you you have a boyfriend you feel like you're trying to skin cool then something happened and you're probably like you know we continue to or so like 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 in school they come out like drop out or the baby in school in early pregnancy like i'm not saying it's bad but like i think they want you to be able to to achieve the stuff you want to achieve you know what i mean to be able to finish school and you know do things when you want to do them and not do them because circumstances are pushing you to do them because i know for sure that's literally what i'm like yeah yeah so i think it's just i think the moral of the story is you can do what you want but also why they say what they say and why they try to protect you comes from a good place so what you should take from it which is what i do i i i date from the sort but like what i take <laughs> what i take from it is the moral of why they say and why they do what they do is they want me to be able to make my own decisions and they want me to be able to come complete school go for my goals and that type of stuff without having someone else to compromise that. And so this is why with any relationship I go into I if the relationship compromises my 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 standpoint in terms of academics or if it compromises like in J stuff that my parents wouldn't agree to, you know, or something that would hold me back in terms of life then. Back Alicia. Yeah. So yeah. And I think, like, I don't, I don't want us to make this whole thing long, but like, yeah, the moral of the story is I want you to understand that it's okay to go through these things because I know what happens is the more the generations come, the more, the sooner you guys start to date. I know for my parents, people started dating later on, 
And I think now the more we get more generations, the earlier children start to consider the idea of dating, you know? And so I just want you to know that you can do what you want to do because obviously we can't stop you, but like, just be smart about it. Niggas ain't happy. That one. Sometimes people have a problem, but like mostly they like just stay up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I consistent from like when they just stay up by six or they feel like that. Now that now that's a topic. That's a topic because I personally okay. So basically in terms of tradition and culture, I think culture. I'm speaking on my end, and this could be different for the next Zulu person. But yeah, we got interrupted by a call. But the question she was asking is something I feel like I want to make a separate YouTube video for. And I think that's going to be how we're called. No, I'm like, I did No, I did this. Oh. I want to make a separate YouTube video for that about just sexuality and that type of stuff, which obviously I'm not very well at your Zulu school. I'm not very well knowledgeable in, but I will obviously put my standpoint in terms of culture and what I've been brought up to understand, what I've been brought up to know from what's right and wrong and in terms of like um, also religion and from a religious standpoint. And I think that would be a very interesting second YouTube video on what she thinks about just sexuality, what I think about sexuality and what our culture thinks about sexuality as well as our religion because we're christians so you can already imagine so basically i think this is the end of the video we didn't want to make it too long but the gist of this whole conversation was to make her understand that i'm here for her should she need me and also like her problems in life uh, it's, just, it's just to encourage people or just a lot of black people to try and have their conversation this type of conversation with your younger sibling because it is very hard to go through this this type of phase and you know not have someone to speak to so this is it we just wanted to say goodbye and we will see you next time in the next youtube video <laughs> okay sorry guys i know that i had already said goodbye but um we i was rushing somewhere because i was just trying to get wings and i needed to take two taxis to go get wings because of where i live but i just basically wanted to say that i would like for you guys to engage in the conversation in the comments below you know say how you feel do you think that it's easier to have this conversation with guys than it is with girls and why do you think it's a situation of um, do you think this conversation should be had or it's just totally uncomfortable and we'll just let them see where to go and just, yeah I would like for you guys to engage with me and just to kind of figure out you know what's your standpoint on the whole situation and yeah please do not buy my uncreasable stuff t-shirt because I was trying something out that I saw on the internet this is one of the shirts that I also um, this one, this one I've obviously worn before, so obviously I try to make it fit the shape of my body. Um, but yeah, it's just paper on a t-shirt. Um, yeah, I just want to try something else. But yeah, I appreciate you guys' efforts and your support. And yeah, please engage with me in this conversation. And do also um, go to my Instagram. I will be posting some sort of a poll type question thing um, for the next YouTube video about... Um, sexuality what you think your standpoint in terms of culture and how the generations and how things have evolved and just perspective basically on those type of things um so yeah thank you very much for watching and let's go